Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today's video is going to be my TBR for the Cremathon, which starts tomorrow. And I was, I meant to do this, like film this video last week and didn't know how fast time was flying. And by the time you know, I'm like, oh crap, tomorrow is Cremathon. Let me film my video because I had another video planned for today and well, that's not gonna work out actually to upload today. It was supposed to be uploaded, but since I kind of forgot to film this, then here we are. And so the video is still gonna go up today, Friday the 21st, um, just later on in the day because tomorrow is Saturday and it's Cramathon! And I am determined to at least complete one readathon this year because I have failed at each and every one and I am going to do this one. And as a matter of fact, I'm also going to be vlogging, which I have been vlogging for the past two days, but uh, <laughs> it's never made it online because just because it like my my vlogs are stupid. But even if this one is stupid tomorrow, I'm still going to upload it because this is ridiculous already. So yeah, Cremathon from the 22nd to the 28th. I've already completed my Goodreads reading goal. Um, so this is just pushing myself more um, to just complete more books. And because there are a lot of books that I still want to read. And after Cramathon, after the 28th, there are still like two or three books that I want to read before the new year. So I don't know how well that's going to go. January is going to come and I'm going to be burnt out from reading. But I am hot because the sun is hitting directly where I'm at here on the floor and this sweater is really really like warm and cozy and I am sweating so let's get this going before my makeup starts melting off of me so if you see me a little red you know why okay so Cremathon, like I said, from December 22nd through the 28th, and there are one, two, three, four, five, six, seven challenges. Um, and so let's get into the books that I'm going to read for Cremathon. So the first book, I never do the group book, but for some reason for this one, I want to do the group book because I just thought uh, it sounded so interesting and this book has never really been on my radar, but when I saw what it was about and that it was very festive or holiday-ish, um, I wanted to read it. I found it for $6. It was a library book off of thriftbook.com. Thrift books. Thriftbooks.com. Oh my gosh. You guys are always telling me to shop on thrift books. And I do. Um, but I just find their website a little bit like not user friendly. And I just, I don't like their website, but I do shop there either way. I wanted to let you guys know that. Um, but I've just never really done a haul because I'll buy like one book. Um, from there every now and then but yeah so anyways uh, I went off topic the group book is the afterlife of Holly Chase um, it sounded interesting to me uh, but when I saw what it was about and that it was like festive and you know it had to do with Scrooge and stuff um, I decided to pick it up and I'm really excited to be reading a book that wasn't even on my radar thanks to a readathon. So the second challenge is to read a book under 200 pages and for that I am going to read Allies of the Night from uh, the, uh, sh the, shaga, the Saga of Darren Shan. Um, as y'all know I was participating in the read along with Hardback Quarter, Allie. Um, but I never completed it, I never finished it and so I do want to continue reading about this world so that is my book under 200 pages this book sits at 181 pages so very very happy to be diving back into the world of the Cirque de Freak. The third challenge is a book meant to read um, a book that I meant to read in 2018 and for this one um, it's going to be an ebook so I'll put the picture up here and that is Krampus the Yule Lord. Uh, Y'all know I talked about this in my winter reads I meant to read this book actually in 2017, but I was like, you know what, I'm going to move it to 2018 because last year for the holidays I read Nosferatu and it was a pretty dense book and that's a, that was as much as I could take last year. So I moved Krampus to this year, so that's what I'm going to be reading for meant to, re meant to read in 2018. Wow. Okay, so the fourth challenge is a, um, a book with a person of color representation. And for that, I am picking Long Way Down by 
Jason Reynolds. Um, this is a book that will be easy to get through because it's told in verse. Um, and so I'm really, really excited to read this one. Um, this also could go for the challenge of um, silver on the cover, but I'm not going to be doubling up on challenges because one of the challenges is to read seven books. So that's why I'm not doubling up on this one or on any book uh, per se, because I do, I'm trying to read the seven books, guys. I'm, I'm trying. Setting myself up for failure, but I'm trying. I'm trying. So yeah, this has to do with, um, I'm not sure what it has to do with, but it has um, person of color representation in here. So I'm really, really excited. And this could also, this could have made so many challenges. I probably could have read this one book and completed all the challenges except the group book uh, because this also I meant to read in 2018 and silver on the color and person of color representation so but you know I'm just I just I just want to strive for more so then the next one is silver on the cover and for that I picked uh, spinning silver this doesn't necessarily I mean it does have some silver on it um, but I'm just taking it because it says spinning on the spinning. Wow, because it says silver on the cover. And so that's why I chose this book. This one is probably the longest book on my TBR. So I'm kind of nervous about it. But I'm really, really interested in reading this one. I started reading this one at some point this year. Um, around July because this was uh, July's book of the month. And so I read like the first chapter and then I never picked it back up. Not because I didn't find it interesting. I just, I don't, I don't remember why I just never picked it up, back up. But this is by Naomi Novik. And so I'm excited. I'm excited to read that one. That'll be my first Naomi book. Um, then we have the shortest on TBR. And for that, I am picking Christmas Ghost Stories, a collection of winter tales. This is really, really really short this sits at 160 pages and it's short stories so you know and it's winter tales and then the last and final challenge is to read seven books and for this one it's also going to be on my ebook I also have it as an ebook so I'll put the picture up here and that is A Boy Called Christmas that's another book that I spoke about in my winter reads um, that I wanted to get to this uh, holiday season and so obviously the readathon runs until the 28th so all of my holiday themed books like my Christmas themed books I obviously want to read before Christmas so that is Krampus, uh, The Afterlife of Holly Chase, the, the short stories and A Boy Called Christmas. Those four I want to read before the 25th or on the 25th although I don't think I'm going to be doing a lot of reading on Christmas because I'm going to be spending time with my family. But either way, that is my TBR. I'm super excited for it. Like I am super excited for every other reading event or readathon or just reading in general. But that's what we're here for, right? To get excited about things. So let me know if you will be participating in the Cramathon and what your TBR looks like. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.